everyone, welcome to Wine Wednesday with Plants. I'm Jane Morocco. Today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite plants and you know I think I say that every week because actually all the plants are my favorite plants but I really really do love this plant in particular because it's called the friendship plant and um, it, it, it does actually have a lot of other nicknames too. The UFO plant, um, the pancake plant, um, but I really like the name the friendship plant because it's actually a self-propagator. I know that a lot of people are into um, propagating their plants and, and giving them away to their friends. And this one actually does it itself. It will actually develop little pups, little babies um, around the bottom of the mother plant. So once it does that, you could just, you know, um, trim them off and give them to your friends. I think that it's called the UFO plant, which is my favorite because of the circular uh, leaves on the plant. And actually, if you look up close, I don't know if you could see it, but there's like a bright light in between um, in the leaves, which kind of gives it its name, I think, uh, as far as the UFO plant. But this plant is great. It's um, a pet-friendly plant, child-friendly plant, but what I tell everybody is just to watch your children and your pets, because even though it's, it's friendly, you don't want people really digesting it because it could cause some stomach upset and perhaps even some um, burning around the mouth, but they, they do say it is pet friendly. I personally love this plant because I think, you know, we all need, there's a lot going on in the world and, and I think we, we all need a little um, happiness in our life and um, by it's self-propagating, I like the idea that you can give it to your friends too so they can also enjoy it. The thing about this plant though is you want to keep it in, it's easy to take care of, but you want to keep it in indirect bright light because just like people, if you put it in the sun, it will sunburn. And I water it, it depends on where you live, um, but I like to water it when, um, usually around our house it's once a week, but I think you could go longer, just like I said, it depends on where you live. But when the soil is totally dry, then give it a really good drink. And it also likes humidity. So what I like to do is when I do water it, I'll also spritz it, spritz the leaves, and that'll help with the humidity. And one of the things that this plant does tend to do is it will lean, the stems will lean toward the sun. So when I do water it, I usually like to rotate it a little bit. Otherwise your plant might grow a little crooked. If that happens, just take, you know, some type of stick or something that you have at home and just kind of prop it prop the stems up with the stick with some um, ties from garbage bags or something and, and that should do the trick. Uh, what else can I say about this plant? It is definitely, oops, I just broke off one of the leaves, poor baby, I'll put that over there. Um, definitely one of my favorites and um, I think you'd like it too. So I hope you join me again next week and we'll talk about another plant and have some more wine. Cheers.